We are back. We are back. Thank you for um, for your patience. Thank you for uh, tuning in. This is TST Radio. I'm Marcus Johnson. And I'm Justin Smith. Um, before we get into NFL, I know for the break I said we won't get into NFL when we come back, but uh, we're going to talk about, we skipped over the tie. Um, yeah, we skipped over Bama, man. Alabama and Kent State. That's, that's, uh, that's Nick Saban's old alma mater. That's what Nick yeah, Saban, yeah. his seven, well, he, think he played from 7 to 72. I think he graduated and, uh, 73. And he played the outside line, middle linebacker, outside linebacker. I don't know what he played, but I know he graduated. Yeah, line. man, I, I didn't want to just jump and not say nothing about the number one team of the country, Alabama. Roll Tide roll to tie. all my Roll Tide people. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, baby. Roll tie. But I wanted, we, the reason I wanted to elaborate on because everybody who pretty much played yesterday was a freshman. Yeah. Everybody was a freshman just about. And the freshman class of Alabama are outstanding to me. That's why I tell a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people saying the story before the season saying Alabama don't is never Nick Saban has never came to the season without those running backs. Right. But I think he's building for the future. Jacobs. You got Jacobs. You, not- <laughs> you got Damian Harris. You got Scarborough. You got uh, it was one more back came in at the end right. of the game. At I can't think of, of his name. And then you have, um, like I said, Jalen Hurst. Right. He's a freshman. So all Everybody those boys are there. We're the guaranteed. The offensive line was freshman. But um, I think and except um, 74, Cam Robinson, Pierce Baker. He's not a, he's not right, a freshman. Right, right, right. Yeah, Besides Baker. those guys. But, yeah. But, but like I said, we're going to have these guys for the next three or four years. Three or four years. So we already... You saw what I saw yesterday. We already have what it takes great. His feet yeah. work is great. Yeah. He can get through those holes fast. Yeah. He's almost built like a Mark Ingram. He's almost his size. I think he needs to be a little bit taller and work out a little bit more to get those definitions in his leg. Because Mark, I mean Mark uh, Ingram had like huge legs. Yeah. Yeah. He has huge legs. But the way he cut up and in and out of those holes and got up field remind me of him, Mark Ingram of Alabama. Like that that kid is gonna be great in the next couple of years. Like yeah. he's gonna be the number one back. Yeah, we got some good. We got some good underclassmen. Uh, Jalen Hurts, I still feel like he need to get the ball out of his hand a little faster. Just a little fast. He's still throwing in double fast. cover. He's still throwing those deep balls and double coverage. So he just get the ball out of his hand a little quicker. You know the. They're running that read option. Yeah, they're running that read option. And and I don't. He's just getting to. His, he's just getting to his reads. Like right. I think he's just going through his reads a little slower, and he just needs to get comfortable in the pocket. I know. Um, I watched press conference. Nick Saban said last game he felt like he was depending on his legs right. like, too much instead of standing in the pocket throwing the football. So if he get that together, defense playing great. Yeah, um, defense are always defense in my Allen. He's out to a good start. Payne out to a good start. Um... Special teams is off school. The good guy, uh, yeah, the the little number guy, nineteen. Yeah, I can't think of his name, his name, but he's off he's to a good uh, start. He's uh, a little speedy. He he, he, he uh, think our dad. Who was that guy that played for LSU? Uh, you talking about Trenton Holiday? Yeah, he he yeah. he got up through that like. I don't think quick. he got in on that level yet. But well, you know, he was just that was a track star. Trenton Holiday, he was a track star, but he he got up out of that. Yeah. I knew he was gonna get one because he he was too he was like them small. I got to stay with Tennessee. Okay. Browns and Miami, Miami. I'm gonna go to Browns. Browns gonna beat Miami. Miami down. I don't think. Yeah, they down, but I, I mean, think you know, the Browns gonna beat Miami. It's just it's NFL we talking about. Baltimore, Jacksonville. Baltimore. Yeah, I'm Baltimore too. Detroit, Green Bay. Detroit, Green Bay. I'm going to go with Green Bay. I'm going to go with Detroit. Uh, Broncos and Cincinnati. Broncos. I knew you were going to go with Broncos. <laughs> Broncos. Uh, love you. Minnesota and Carolina. Carolina. Washington and the Giants. Giants. You know I'm going with the Giants. Right. Yeah, you know I'm going with the Giants. Rams and uh, Tampa Bay. Rams. San Francisco, uh, Seahawks. San Francisco. Jets and 27. Uh, Montgomery Catholic and Elmore County elected. Elected, lost their homecoming, 28-6. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had Chilton County and Russell County, 34-13. Uh, Chilton County took that. 
Uh, we Tonka had their homecoming versus Greenville. They won that forty-one to nineteen. Right. Um, I was there. That one. Uh, go check the page out. You can find um highlight film on there. Um, some highlights on there. Homecoming courts, king, queen. You will find all that pictures, videos, all that on my page. Uh, I think on. Was it Thursday? No, Friday. Friday. Right. They played Friday. Lee and um Carver, they played um Friday night at the Crampton Bowl. The Crampton Bowl, yeah. Um Lee took that one 40, 46 to forty one. Um I can't remember who Opalika played. No, I know this ain't going un overlook that. But I think they said um the guy transferred. You know, when you transfer, you got to go through so much paperwork. Yeah, yeah. They call it something called bona fide, something he wasn't bona fide or something. But I think he's registered now. They yeah, got him all right, completed. Yeah. But I think it was just something that Chad really didn't make sure that all the paperwork was done. I don't think it was something that they were trying to do under the radar. Yeah. I don't think that. I just think it was something that didn't get completed. You know what I'm saying? They have done, just they they have done this in the past. But Chad wasn't there. Yeah, right. But, you know, but they do have a history. Not saying they got a bad history of it, but it yeah. had, they have done it in the past. But, like I said, it's unfortunate that they had to give up their only win. Player, as a coach, I coach a youth league. When you get a good player, you be ready to get him on the field. Yeah, you want to use him right then and there. Because, you know, we have to get, you know, we have a, like, one of my best running backs coming in the season was uh, overweight. But I didn't know that. Honestly, I didn't know that until the first game of the season. I was lining him up at running back. I was ready for him to talk about he been playing running back all his whole life. I was ready to line him up. They called him, hey, he can't play. But that wasn't something that I knew. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't bring a, a scale to practice every day and weight a guy. So, you know, I think it was just something that just got overlooked. And they're working it out. And I think... Chad, I don't think he's gonna be there too much longer because yeah. he's not proven that he can win. Um, while we're in high school, I want to shout out to uh, Kendall Lacey. They, uh, I think they fell short to call quit this weekend. Uh, he and Kennedy. Yeah, he's at uh, University of Alabama. Um, shout out to all the the local former alumni, Tommy Tonka, and all the what his name, Charlie. Yeah, uh, Charlie.